Hi, maybe you're looking for STEM activities for the classroom or for home, or maybe you're not quite sure what a STEM activity is. Well, STEM activity is an interactive, hands-on approach to learning. It includes science, technology, engineering, and math. That's what STEM stands for. But it's actually more than that. Students are involved with using their imagination, their critical thinking. It's really a hands-on approach to learning. And if they're working with a partner in a small group, it actually includes cooperative learning as well. I've created some STEM activities and I want to just go through the slides and kind of show you how I use the STEM activities in my classroom. Before we begin our STEM activity, we go ahead and go online and do our research. That's the technology portion of this um, activity. So my students here are putting together a tower and they began with going on to the internet and looking at the different types of towers, how they were structured, what, how high they were, and for some cases for my second language learners even to know what a tower is. And so they were able to get some ideas. Um, and then they go ahead and they take it to the paperwork. There's a four page packet that's included in the product that I saw. And this starts off with the objective. So students are clear about what it is they're going to build and um, just kind of any special criteria for, for their building. Then they go and they look at their materials list. I actually provide the materials for them and they don't have to use all the materials and if there's actually something that we want to add then we can go ahead and add it. And the bottom portion of the paper is really them starting to um, think out their plan and go ahead and start designing, making their diagram there. This is first grade so you know they've just got a basic sketches and I'm sure older students would put something a little bit more detailed but they're coming up with their plan so it's really neat to see them working together this is a group of people that are working together and they're creating their design so after students have their design the next step would be for them to go ahead and start putting their structure together now we did the research and we did the design page on a different day and so now they're going back and they're going to go go ahead and collect all the materials that they're going to need for their project. One thing that's really helpful on their design, if they kind of label out what they are going to use, then that way when they go to the material center, then um, it's a little bit clearer as to what they're taking instead of just grabbing everything. So after students have their materials and they're ready to start following their plan, um, building their structure, and that's what this group is starting to do here. This group of girls actually spent a lot of time designing the windows and just kind of the decoration to their tower before they actually started con to construct their tower. So it was really pretty amazing, um, first of all, that they were thinking in terms of detail and then that they were able to still have enough time to go back and create a pretty cool looking little tower. These are some of the towers that they ended up coming up with and you know the towers may not be exactly the way um, they imagined or that you imagined it's just really neat to see the process that they go through in creating them this STEM activity is actually the vehicle activity and this group is already in the process of constructing their vehicles and the criteria for the um, vehicles was that it had to have a movable part so for most of them the tires were the movable part and they spent a lot of time trying to figure out how they were going to get the marshmallows onto the straws and and moving um, moving the tires once they got them onto the body they also used the cups for the body because the cups were basically already a preformed structure so the time that they spent creating this was just really amazing they were they were working slowly and carefully and really thinking. Here's a really good example of um, a person who tried to get his wheels to move by putting um, the craft sticks on top of the straws and then realized that the straws wouldn't move once the craft sticks were glued on so he actually came up with another plan to make his vehicle have the movable part that he wanted to have. I don't give the students any um, examples of student work or I don't have any pictures for them to view as far as student work goes because I really want them to get into this on their own and to really think it through and develop their own plan for making their, their project work. 
So here's the vehicles that students came up with. When we did the tower activity, students were working in small groups or with a partner. For the vehicle activity, they had to create their own activity. They could still work with a partner or a small group, but they had to, in the end, have their own vehicle. So it was really neat to see the way they all came up with something different. As students work through their project, they actually have a note-taking page, and on that page they want to go ahead and just take notes about the process, maybe the materials that they used, how they did something. They can do this in fragments rather than complete sentences. Um, they can do little sketches, whatever is going to help them and that they'll be able to use as a resource when their project is complete so that they can go back and reflect on it. After they finish their structure, then they use the third page, which is um, just some questions that help them again go back and reflect. They do some measuring and then if it's a movable part or something special, then they might have to comment on that. Or if it's um, just looking at what worked or what didn't work or what they would do differently. Then after they've completed that, they go back and they do a complete summary of their whole um, experiment. So along with all the critical thinking that they're doing, the hands-on, and all the other great things that they're doing with STEM activities, they're also doing the writing portion of it. So it's really a good time for them to reflect on their whole process. I have the STEM activities available on my Teachers Pay Teachers store if you'd like to check them out. At the time of this video, I actually have 10. Here's just a sample of what's available. I have Build a Habitat, Vehicle, Tower, Robot, Carnival, and I'll include all 10 in the links below. So if you want to go ahead and check them out, please feel free. I know that my students truly enjoy doing these activities. They even want to bring their parents in and have their parents doing the activities with us. So I hope that you enjoy them. Thanks for visiting me.